right guys, what is going on and thank you so much for tuning back onto the channel. And I just want to say, today is Friday, it's going to be an awesome night. I'm actually on my way to a conference called Man Up Conference at Cornerstone Christian Church. And I've never been there, but I heard nothing but great things about it. So I'm coming expecting for it to just be an awesome time. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. I go to a lot of conferences, but I actually don't. As you know, if you watched my first video, we just came back from Pursuit like two weeks ago now, and that was a really awesome time. If you haven't checked out the video, um, I'll try and put it right here or right here or just link it down below or whatever. You can find it on my channel. But I wanted to get some more content out there for you. So I thought today going to this Man Up conference would be perfect for another vlog. The weather outside is super awesome. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sunny out right now. Um, the sun is going down because it is six o'clock right now. And I'm probably gonna be late because I'm recording this, but I definitely wanted to get this recorded before it gets darker and yeah so i'm gonna try and get some b-roll shots if i can no promises but if there is they'll be playing right now guys what is up I just got to Cornerstone Church and it actually took me a while to get here and uh, it's pretty cold and it's dark out right now but I'm super excited this church looks pretty sweet let's get it going Alright guys, so night one of the Man Up Conference was awesome. <laughs> Things happened exactly like I did not picture them. Um, and I mean that in the best way possible. Um, I definitely think that God moved and things happened. And it honestly, it was just awesome to see. Um, but I will definitely have to elaborate more on that and talk about it more in the morning because, or some other point, because tomorrow's session is early in the morning for me at least, and I definitely need to get to bed. I'm tired. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm exhausted right now. So I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you had a good night and, uh, make sure to get some good sleep and yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. All right guys, good morning. It is day two, Saturday morning. I'm still pretty tired. I didn't fall asleep till probably about 12.30 or one in the morning. So, pretty tired still. Um, looking forward to today. It's supposed to be 40 and sunny. So that'll be great and I'm gonna enjoy that a lot. Um, definitely need to get going though. Um, so just gotta grab my shoes and then I'm uh, be heading out the door. All right, we'll see you there.
Can you say hi? <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got home and I just realized that I actually did not get <laughs> like little to no footage from today. Um, I apologize for that, but I actually just really wanted to focus and pay attention to um, just the service and just the day and I really wanted to focus on on listening and hearing things because I already have a short attention span so I didn't want or need the distraction it was a really good day the conference was really good I'm going to probably throw some comfier clothes on and take a nap wake up probably do some more reading and then I have to do laundry at some point um, but then I will share more with you about the conference and just just my overall thoughts and, and things I took away and, and all that stuff. So yeah, we'll catch you then. Hey guys, I am back. I actually did not end up taking a nap because I was hungry. So I ate uh, lunch and then I actually ended up reading a little more, actually probably a lot more. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys the things I took away from the Man Up conference and overall the conference was really awesome. It was a it was a men's conference. Obviously, if you couldn't tell by the name Man Up. So, there were two speakers. One of them was Derek Carr, who is on the Oakland Raiders, which is an NFL football team. If you guys did not know because I honestly had no idea who he was, but I definitely thought it was cool that they had someone like him come out and honestly he was extremely humble and i love that i personally i love that he was he he talked about how he was willing to lay his career down essentially to serve the lord if if, if god called him to stop playing football he said that he would and i think that would be difficult for a lot of people who are in that position because they've worked so hard to get where they are in their career um so that's really awesome and it's just I think it just reaches a lot of people. The second speaker was a guy named Maddie Montgomery who is from a band called For Today. Well, he's actually the former lead vocalist for the band For Today, which is a Christian hardcore screamo band that I actually used to listen to. Not very much, but there, there were a couple songs that I listened to back in like uh, junior high, high school days. And he honestly was probably my personal favorite. He had a lot of energy, a lot of passion, and and I don't know, I, I really truly believe that he was anointed. He spoke to me, definitely. I mean, they both did, but if I had to pick one to see again, it would definitely be Maddie Montgomery. His heart and his passion for his faith is is just so evident in, in how he is and how he presents the word and and all that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate that. And let me let me grab my notebook real quick. So there were a couple things that I took in my notes. There was one thing that that hit me that that they said actually Friday night, and I believe it was uh, Derek who said this. And he said, "If you do not leave changed, it's your fault." And that hit me because. I think for me personally, a lot of times when I come to these things, I expect for God to meet me essentially. And I know that he does, but I think a lot of times I expect it in a way that is almost like like miraculous, if that makes any sense at all. But um, I usually come expecting for, for me to feel different, for me to be different essentially. And I like the point that it brings is we ourselves have to be willing to listen, to hear, and to really engage in the presence. So if we don't, it's our fault because it's always available. It's always there. He's always there for us, you know, and that's, that's just awesome. Another one that I, I wrote down was uh, we need to be set free from ourselves, which is so extremely true because I for one know that I can be extremely selfish. I'm all about what I want, what I want to do, what I like, that I don't take the time to uh, see others as much as I should. 
because I'm called to love others and part of loving others is doing what you can to help them out in any way that you can to help the needy and I'm not talking just about the people the, the poor people I'm talking about everybody around you so a huge thing I think we all need to know is is okay just let me read this I wrote down the enemy does not have the authority to set the terms of the battle um, I think a lot of times we give the enemy way too much credit and way too much credit like seriously yes he can be clever but we need to realize that the battle has already been won before it even started and I think that's something that we need to grasp and take a hold of because that's where our hope is in our hope is in him and uh, we can look forward to the future because of that you know probably one of my favorite points um, that I took away actually was during the breakout session I think the biggest thing that I took away from that breakout is the fear of God. As a man, we need to have that fear of God because it kind of keeps us in check. So another one of my favorite points that was brought about in this conference was posed in a question and the question was, who is first? And that means it, it's not in a competitive context, it's in the context of who is willing to step out in faith who is the first one who is willing to step out into into battle? And I know for me personally, I want to say that that's me, but I also know that I'm human, and I'll admit that sometimes I I'm I'm afraid. I'm afraid to step out and and be the first one. I usually wait for somebody else, you know. And that's that's another point that they made is is are we the person who's like, well, why do I have to be the first one when really we need to say. Yes, here I am, I will be the first one. None of us are perfect and we're all going through certain things. And I think one thing that we need to do when we hear his voice is to just obey. And I think that's something that's so hard, especially for me, because I think a lot of times I hear, but I don't listen. I hear the words and I know what I need to do, but do I actually do it? Am I actually willing to step out and do what he asks me to do. And I think a lot of times, <laughs> I'm not. And, and that's because, that's kind of where that fear of God point comes back in, is, is I think a lot of times, I fear man more than I fear God. And I don't think that is how it should be. Um, I'm, I'm always trying to look for people's approval or, or whatever, but I think Obedience comes from a fear of God. If we don't fear God, we have a harder time being obedient. And please, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is all through personal experience and this is this is kind of how I take it and how I relate to it. And I don't know if anything I'm saying is being elaborated properly or if I'm speaking properly. I, I'm not always great at bringing out any of my ideas and I know a lot of you um, who are watching this might not even care about any of this stuff but I want you to know that Jesus loves you and he is fighting for you whether you see it or believe it it does not change anything he still loves you I hope that whoever is watching this I hope this touches you and I hope this blesses you and I hope um, it speaks to you as much as it spoke to me. Let this bless you and I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for tuning into the channel and please like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you want to pick my brain, please do. Um, I can't promise that I have any or all the answers or, you know, any at all, but I'd love to chat about anything. You can follow me on Instagram. You can Find me on Facebook, even though I don't go there really that much, but um, any way that you guys want to talk, I'm here. I'm here to listen. I'm here to try and help and kind of just share because I am honestly feel like I'm just, just starting on this walk. And um, yeah, <laughs> I look forward to the future and uh, have a good night, guys. Peace.